Geek Family. We're doing a series of videos on one of our favorite topics, Disney. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Disney's Fast Pass system with our good friend Kim Gertis from Part of That World Vacations. Thanks for joining us again, Kim. Thanks for having me again. What is Disney Fast Pass? The Fast Pass is a reservation system that lets you schedule your ride times in advance. How much does Fast Pass cost? It's free. Free? There's no charge for it. It's included in your resort stay. How far in advance can you schedule a Fast Pass? If you're staying on Walt Disney World property or at select Disney Springs Resort hotels or at Swan and Dolphin, you can schedule them 60 days in advance. If you're staying off property, you can schedule them 30 days at a, one day at a time. So if you're staying for four days, you'll have to get up four days in a row and schedule them each and every day if you're not staying on property. So if you stay on property, you can make them all at one time? You can. It's based on your check-in day. So it's 60 days in advance of your check-in day. And you can schedule, if you have five days worth of tickets, you can schedule all five days on that first day. So how many Fast Passes can you get? You can get up to three per day in advance. And then once those three are used, you can schedule one at a time for the rest of the day. But it's going to depend on what is available as to what you're able to choose from. So where or how do you make Fast Pass reservations? So first and foremost, you want to make sure that your tickets are linked to your My Disney Experience account. In order to do that, you just go on the web and you can Google My Disney Experience and it'll come up and you can log into your account or set up a new account if you don't have one. Or you can do it, you can download the app to your phone and do it from your app. So you have to have a ticket before you book your Fast Passes. Yes, and you want to make sure that it's linked to your My Disney Experience account before you try to make your Fast Passes, because otherwise you won't be able to make any. Okay. Is it hard to redeem a Fast Pass? No, not at all. So when your time comes available, you have an hour window. So say it's from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And you go to the ride, and there's a regular standby entrance, and then there's the Fast Pass entrance. You go to the window of the Fast Pass entrance, and you scan your magic band to the Mickey head. Or if you just have your ticket, you can scan your ticket. And because your Fast Passes are linked to your ticket, they automatically get checked off. Exactly. What are some tips for scheduling Fast Passes? Well, you want to make sure that, you, um, that you're scheduling your Fast Passes in a timely manner. And what I mean by that is, say you're at Magic Kingdom and you're making your Fast Passes for your Magic Kingdom day. It is a huge park. And you can walk on average at, Mag well, I walk on average at Magic Kingdom probably about 25,000 steps a day. So it's a huge park. So when you're making your fast passes, you want to make sure that you're scheduling them either in the same area of the park or that you're leaving yourself enough time to be able to schedule one fast pass, take a tour of that area, or walk, be able to walk over to the next area for your next fast pass in a timely manner. I, if you're scheduling all of your Fast Passes in Fantasyland, then you can do them boom, 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 one right after another. But say you have Seven Dwarf Mine Train at 10 a.m., and then you have, um, let's say, Pirates of the Caribbean, which is on the other side of the park, at 11 a.m., you don't really have enough time to enjoy Fantasyland and then be able to, you're going to be rushing. And that's not fun. You're on vacation. Don't want to get to your next ride winded. No. <laughs> what other things should we look out for? Um, dining reservations. Make sure that you're not scheduling any of your fast passes during your dinner time okay. reservation. Because you'll miss one or the other. You'll miss one or the other. <laughs> um, if there's any parades that you want to do, make sure that you're not scheduling your fast passes during the parade time. Or fireworks. Make sure that you're not scheduling them during the fireworks. Or any special events that are going on that you want to make sure that you see. Make sure that you're being aware of what, what the schedule is for that day when you're scheduling your fast passes or you just have one of our vacation specialists do it for you and we'll look out for all of that. 
If you're doing it yourself and a vacation specialist isn't doing it, mm -hmm. are there maps available so you can see where, so did you know that you're not scheduling two rides on opposite sides of the park? There are maps available online of the parks that you can see, so you can see exactly where the rides are, and you can kind that can kind of help you to and guide you as to what sections of the park and what rides are in those sections. Is FastPass available at all four Disney World parks? It is. Yep. Is it the same? Is it they have the same system in all four parks? No. Well, the system overall is the same, but there's different at Magic Kingdom, you can choose three rides, any three rides that you want that are available to make a fast pass for. At Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and Animal Kingdom, they have a tier system. So there's certain rides that are in tier one, and then there's certain rides that are in tier two. Tier one rides, you can only pick one fast pass. For the advanced booking. For the advanced booking. And then you can pick two from the tier two section. And once all of three of those fast passes are gone, that's when you can get another one? Exactly. Are there any limits in those parks that have tier one and tier two about how you can get a new fast pass? No. All right, last question. Fast passes sounds great. You make reservations in advance. But what if I can't get the ride and or the time that I want? You can keep checking back. So go ahead and make that fast pass so that way that you know that you have the ride and that you have a time to come back during. But you can always go in or your vacation specialist that is helping you can always go in and try to modify and see if new times become available. Because as it gets closer, people sometimes cancel or they decide to do different parks on different days and they're modifying their fast passes and changing days around. So sometimes they'll come available for the days that you're looking for. All right, that's the basics on the Disney Fast Pass system. We hope you found this video informative and that it helps with your Disney vacation planning. If you're interested in using a travel specialist to plan your Disney vacation, we'll include the link for Part of That World Vacations in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you're the first to know when we post new content. As always, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.